This book explains why we don't know as much about the placebo effect as people think, and it's not as powerful as people think. There's a lot of nonsense beliefs about placebo on both sides of rationality. Some think it can do anything, and how do you know it's not placebo is like the go-to phrase of the pseudo-rational. Most people think placebo is the most studied drug, but very few studies actually isolate the effects of placebo. What's often mistaken as the placebo effect is what's seen in a group given placebo, but very few studies include a no treatment group to compare to. One survey found only 4% of clinical trials include this important third arm. People's symptoms can fluctuate naturally, so it's hard to know the placebo effect without a no treatment group to compare to. From what we do know about placebo, it's not a cure-all. It can't cure viral or bacterial diseases or cure cancer. Its results are mixed with depression and anxiety, but it can't cure schizophrenia. What placebo is effective at treating is inflammation and pain. One theory of how this works is that pain is a signal to seek help and a medical intervention of any kind, even a sugar pill, signals help. But if placebo is effective, why can't we use it? It's an ethical quandary because a patient has to believe they're receiving an effective treatment for it to work, and it's not okay to lie to patients. If anything, it's a reminder that just because something hasn't been proven to work across a population doesn't mean you shouldn't try it if you're desperate to treat something like pain or inflammation. The book is Placebo.